Well, hello, Taurus. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. If you are new, hello, I am Yasmin. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. All right, Taurus, this is going to be your second read for the day. Um, whenever I post your other one, I will be posting this one as well. So we're going to go ahead. This is going to be general. This is going to be in love. This is going to be whatever comes out. Okay, the spirit wants you to know. Um, I haven't done these type of reads in a while. So let's go ahead. We're going to see what comes out here for you, Taurus. What does spirit want you to know? This is for Taurus. We're going to use oracles and the tarot. Okay. All right. So let's see. I have illuminate options home and nostalgia nostalgia <laughs> at the bottom of the deck i have stop we're going to get to that the first card here talks about people are drawn to your radiant light now and i feel like it's so interesting look at how it came out that's the reason why options came out right after illuminate right this is like you're looking good people are seeing you they're like oh i want a piece of taurus i want to I don't know what it is about Taurus that I just want a piece of Taurus, right? So that's what's going on. This is people that you know that are feeling this way. This is people that you don't know that are feeling this way. But whatever the situation is, here you have a lot of options and opportunities. This is going to be with love. This is going to be with um, your business, that type of thing. Also, Illuminate talks about your sp about you spiritually. You being spiritually aware okay illuminate talks about things that are hidden being exposed so that's what's so good about that first card because it's it's your inner and outer world that is being exposed this is you how you feel on the inside about yourself it's like the radiant light from the sun is is you know uh, uh glowing inside of you because you're so happy you will be especially if you've been struggling with um sadness and a spiritual um, en enlightenment, okay? Again, like I said, you have options. Here with home, this talks about your safe place, your safe space. You know, a lot of you like to decorate. You know, I feel like with Taurus, this will make sense that, you know, you may go out in the hustle and the bustle of the world. And I kid you not, one thing about you, when you come home, you need your home to be comfortable and beautiful and luxurious, right? Like that's how I like my house to be, right? So even with your home, it makes you feel safe here. And I feel like here with the nostalgia, it talks about the past, you being able to get over the past and let the past go. That is what a lot of you are working on right now, even if... um. It's not completely gone. Now, this could be with relationships. This could be with your family. We got home and then nostalgia. This could be with your father, your mother, your siblings, whatever. Things that have occurred and happened to you when you were young, okay, um, that you're trying to get over. So a lot is going on with you. There's so much change. There's so many things that are happening, but it is all for the best. And I believe, I believe you had probably the best reading. I don't remember what your reading was, but because I did, a, a, I think it was like the, yesterday or whatever, but um, your reading was amazing. So to see this advice and to see all these other good things that come out, it's just further uh, reassurance that things are going to improve for you. Now at the bottom of the deck, like I said, it has... The conditions are not safe to continue on this path. Allow the universe to right any imbalance. The reason why, remember I said something about letting go. And I do feel like some of you are either in relationships and you're forcing things to, you, you're, you're in relationships, but you're dealing with someone on the side or you're not in a relationship, but you're forcing or not, I'm not gonna even say forcing. But you're trying to force something to work that's not going to work. Now, this could be you, any any little, however it resonates. But I got to be honest. When you see stop, that's something that you may experience in the future where it's like, don't force this source. Don't, you know, someone may try to come back in here and you really may want to be with them. Listen, with this car, it's like, listen, this is not going to be right for you. Okay, stop. Let it go. Let the universe pull you in the direction that you need to go, okay? That's what I'm seeing with that. Now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get the key 
Oracle deck. Haven't used this one in a very long time. But this is going to be for Taurus. Let's get two cards here for Taurus. This is for Taurus. Thank you. First card here I have is taking the leap. This is courage. It says you have to let go of something good in order to get something great. Didn't I just say that? I love it. I love it. I love when everything like matches up. Okay. <laughs> it says it could be scary. The unknown can be very unscary, but it talks about having faith in yourself and in the universe and trust that things are going, that you're going to get what you want. You know, it's, it's so much easier to be looking at YouTube and hearing readers say, oh, you're going to get what you want. Are you going to get what you want? And it's like, yes, yeah, it, it, that's easier said than done when you've been waiting a very long time. But remember, everything is about divine timing. But the very fact that this card is talking about taking a leap of faith, that means that now you're on the edge. There's going to be something that's going to happen that's going to cause you to say, I'm ready to go. Okay. So the stagnation that you may be feeling is going to be over and done. Next card here I have is betrayal. Now, I know for a fact that a lot of you have been through this. Remember, we had the Knight of Wands that came out in your reading a lot. Some of you may have experienced this in your home, you know, whether you were doing it or your person was doing it. This could have been family members, whatever this is. Some of you have experienced that, and that could have been a part of the illuminating thing. What was hidden came to light. With this card, it says this situation will reveal to you the intention behind it. Illuminate, okay? That even means in the future. Whether it's you betraying yourself in some way or another per person or situation by unmasking the truth, by removing any blinders that hinder knowing the answer brings clarity. These two cards are talking to each other. So whatever it is that you want to know or that you need to know, you're going to know it. If someone is hiding something from you, you're going to know it. This could be anybody. This could be someone that you're just dating. This could be a family member. This could be whatever. This could be a spouse. And it could be your spouse if you are doing something that is secretive. I'm just warning you. Because a lot of times when you look at these videos, people always assume that it's the other person. But a lot of times it is the people who are actually watching these videos and they may be doing things and they, you know, this is a warning that it will be, it will come to the light. So be prepared for the uprise. Okay. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. So that's what I have. We're going to go ahead and get into your tarot. We're going to get to the tarot. So, but for most of you, this really is talking about things being revealed. So you won't waste your time. Okay. And the universe is going to, you know, is telling you to keep an open mind, but you have options and opportunities. This is going to be for Taurus. More for Taurus. Yeah, I do see some, for some of you, there's going to be someone from the past coming back in here. Now here with the lovers, you have the lovers card here. Some of you may be separated and frustrated. Some of you may be in dead end relationships and you know it. And that's the reason why you're dealing with people outside of the connection. We just talked about taking the leap. That's at the bottom of the deck here with the full card. Nothing is a coincidence. I do see some of you starting some type of new project with your job here with the Eight of Pentacles and, that, and a Page of Wands. So now, I do feel that um, there is going to be someone that's going to come into your life. This could be someone new, could be someone that you know. You necessarily know could be like past, but not necessarily in a relationship. It just all depends, right? You're going to be so anxious about wanting this to work, right? But it may seem a little superficial because there's going to be a lot of sex. And you're going to be like, well, wait a minute. Is it anything? Is this really serious? Do they really like me? Or, you know, do they, are they feeling me? Well, it's a page. And I can tell you that this person, um, you know, is very distracted and a lot of their energy could be very fleeting. Okay. So this is just one of those things to keep an open mind. Just because one person walk up to you tomorrow doesn't mean that that's your one. Okay, just keep an open mind. But a lot of you are going to be dealing with a, a lot of sex-based relationships. Here with the hangman, I do feel like this is waiting, but there's the release. Here with the tower, you need to release something. And in the future, let's say right now you're like, well, I don't really have my person. We're separated. I'm frustrated. We're not together. I feel like there is going to be someone that's going to come in, and it is a future prediction. I do feel like there is going to be some type of uprising, disruption. Remember, this card wasn't out yet. And I feel like it does have something to do with someone knowing something, illuminate, right? And betrayals, it has something to do with that. And 
that is going to be the, that's going to hit the fan. Okay. So, you know, here with stop, like I said, I do feel that that is going to be a warning not to try to force things um, on someone or whatever it is. Um, but that's what I'm saying. Let's go ahead. Let's get your last two cards here for Taurus. And part of illumination is what is you you realize your feelings you realize how you feel okay some things may be hidden from yourself and part of illumination is like that soul searching the hermit card and it's like oh now i see okay you you see how you are and what you really want here with the four of swords there's healing that needs to be done yeah speaking of which here with the sun card that came out the last card because here you had the justice and the sun now, this is letting me know that things are going to work out in your favor, okay? However, depending on your karma, okay, because the Justice card talks about karma, it will be dealt with, okay? So, allow the universe to help you where you need to be helped, okay? And um, everything is going to fall in place. The sun is very much so a happy, joyous time, and I do see that here for you. Um, at the bottom of the deck, I forgot to, to show you, this is, talks about creativity, which is something that I'm seeing here with the page of wands. Um, it talks about creative expression. It talks about the flow of energy, being open to the process. But look at what the last one says, be open to the process and let it flow without judgment of yourself. So this is what I was saying earlier, not forcing anything, okay? Not having any judgments of yourself, be compassionate with yourself. If you don't have anybody right now, you're that doesn't mean that you're a loser, okay? Or if your relationship doesn't work out, it doesn't mean that you're a loser, okay? Just allow the universe to work its magic. So this is what I have for you, Taurus. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. And again, if you are new, please like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you back here again soon. Bye.